What's up guys? Uh, today we're going to try something a little different. Usually I don't do too much body work like this. Uh, it's, I don't know, something I'm not very good at or even really very practiced in. But uh, I'll, I'll show you a few clips of what we're going to do now. I've already finished the driver's side of the car uh, just to see if I could do it and see if everything worked out alright. And so this is what we're going to end up doing. It's going to be putting some mesh. Uh, th in this case this is gutter mesh that I got uh, <laughs> from a, my old apartment complex when they were changing the gutters out, they threw away about 100 and something foot of it and I just grabbed about 20 foot. Uh, it's all uh, galvanized steel, it's been powder coated. I think you can pick this stuff at Home Depot up. You, you really only need one full sheet, I don't really know, uh, that long to make this work. Then also you're going to need some aluminum L-stock. In this case, this is some cheap L-stock. I don't even know where I got it. You could probably get it at Lowe's. It'll be kind of expensive. If you went to a metal warehouse or something like that, you can get a lot cheaper. You're only going to need about 10 to 12 inches of it, depending on how you want to make your brackets. Uh, you're also going to need to get some cardboard because you're going to have to build your own template. This is what mine looks like, how I have my fenders spaced. Uh, it's about 3-inch spacing, I guess, somewhere around there. Next, you're going to need some sort of tubing. Uh, in this case I have some oxygen tubing that was left in my home when I moved in. I don't know why the dude had so much. He's got like 200 plus feet of oxygen tubing. He was like 35 years old. I don't really understand what all this tubing is from. Uh, you're going to need some rivets. Uh, in this case I've got some stainless steel rivets, but aluminum rivets work as well. Uh, I'm going to use some rib nuts, but you don't necessarily have to. You can use bolts if you wanted to. And then of course whatever race car deserves, a bunch of zip ties. Stay tuned, I'll show you how we do it.